episode five of our journey from Accra to Cape Coast. So currently we are at Mankesim and we are moving from Mankesim to Cape Coast itself and it is such quite a long journey. Yeah. So we are started from the Mankesim runabout and that is a very beautiful view you are seeing right there. As I told you, Mankesim is like a very big town at that location. So if you haven't watched the episode one, two, three and four, you should just check in the description of this video so you can start watching the video right from episode one going. Yes. So it is such a beautiful journey. And as I already told you, Cape Coast, um, Mankesim, Winneba, all those places are part of Central Region, including Kaswa. So today we actually made our journey from Accra to Kaswa. That was the first episode. And then from Kaswa to Potting Junction, that was the second episode. And then from Potting Junction to Winneba is third episode. And from Winneba to Mankesim is fourth episode. So now we are moving from Mankesim to Cape Coast itself. And that is our fifth episode. And you can see how the township of Mankesim currently is. And it's such a very beautiful location as well. Actually, today we uh, experienced a lot of rainfalls on our journey. Even right now at Mankesim, we are experiencing another rainfall. So in a nutshell, this is kind of like a rainy season, but it's actually um, West. There's a lot of rainfall at this side of the uh, the, the the region of uh, this region of Ghana, uh -huh. and that's one beautiful thing about this place because you will always get good rainfall. The weather is so beautiful. They have a lot of sea, um, you know, sea um, banks that you can actually go for um, go to the resorts uh, places. Yeah, and always enjoy yourself with your family so people who are buying land at this location are people who are actually making good investments because those who are currently owning land on the street from Kasua going to Winneba itself are people who are really fortunate you understand and as I already told in the other video if you want to buy land at th this location we have a couple of lands currently there that are registered and I've gone to the you know um, I'm going to also ver verify the documents that's by doing my due diligence. Yeah, so it's beautiful. Just sit down, get some, you know, um, snacks and enjoy this video right from Mankesim to Cape Coast. And it's just a straight road. You are not branching anywhere right from Accra straight to Cape Coast. You understand? Aha. Uh -huh. So you can see how wet the road is and you can see how the township also is. So moving out of Mankasim, as I already told you, uh, the entire way Ghana developed is that most of the towns and the places you visit, you find out they are old structures and you find that they are kind of like traditional homes. And, you know, sometimes you even find mud houses in front uh, of the or in the township or closer to the roads. So most of the times in Ghana, the way the development is, is that the bigger houses and the nice and beautiful structures that you expect to see are actually inside they are not closer to the main road so whenever you want to see the beauty of a town you need to just you know park your car or actually drive through to see go into it deep into it that is when you get to see the beautiful um, um, structures and the beautiful buildings that are actually you know being built so you can see the road is you know, rainy and it's wet. Uh, so when you are driving here, you just need to be very careful. And as I told you already, the road from this place is just a double road, like a single road, you understand? So one going, one coming, and just at both sides. So you have to demonstrate a lot of uh, care, caution, and also a lot of experience while using roads like this, you understand? No, the road is very smooth. It is very clean. It is very beautiful. It's very sweet. There's no any potholes like that much, maybe very few. Yeah, you understand. So uh, don't overuse it or, you know, let it go through your head and you start misbehaving. No, you have to demonstrate a lot of care and caution when you are using this road. So right now, we just left Mankesim and there are some small, small towns we'll be meeting on the road. So it is good you actually, you know, um, uh, watch very well so that you can actually see how the places are being understand.
such a heavy tanker right there. Uh -huh. So I think the next township we'll be moving from Mankasim is actually Abonko. So I don't know whether we are closer to it or we just passed. Yeah, so I was taking notes of some of the names, you understand? Uh -huh. So take a look, you see how refreshing the place is. So I think this is Abonko Township. Yeah, uh, just steady the place very well and you can actually enjoy. So as I told you, there is no difficulty in using this route. So for those of you who are using it as a means of direction, it could probably just be a way that you get confirmation as to whether you are using you are on the right route or not. But at the same time, this should also uh, you know educate you to understand that the road is beautiful and you get to just see the township even before you start using this road. So this is um, a school, yeah? This is a school. That's the Infantipim Girls. That's the Infantipim Girls uh, High School. You understand? Infantipim Girls. Okay. It's very uh, 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 a famous school uh -huh, and a lot of people know it. Yeah, so that's one of the biggest landmark you see from that place, yeah? So we are actually moving to the next township. You can see how beautiful the coconut trees are. look. Yeah, you can also enjoy the beautiful houses on top of the hill. Aha, uh -huh. you see? That's one thing about regions like this. I love seeing houses and nice buildings on hills. You understand? I also love how, you know, the, there's a hill over there and it's something that can you can also uh, look out for if you actually, you know, uh, looking for a means of enjoying yourself having a quiet time having a place to meditate you know a place to you know ponder ab ponder about creation yeah so it's beautiful and the journey is quite okay i'm currently enjoying the journey and i would always tell you that you should make your way whenever you come to ghana to actually visit cape coast cape coast is a hub for tourism because we have um two major tourist attractions there number one is the kakum national park where you go to use the walkway uh, on on trees you understand on trees you are going to be walking on the trees using the walkway yeah and you also uh you can the second tourist attraction is the cape coast castle where you can visit the cape coast castle you learn a lot of about slavery you learn to see the dungeon where our ancestors were enslaved and kept and how they transported them and you also learn about how uh you know the uh, the, the the church operated while they were uh, undertaking the slavery you understand they were having churches operating and at the same time doing the slavery job so they were doing both simultaneously and when you go there you make inquiries about that the guard at the castle will all educate you so you yourself can actually learn about it so it's beautiful and i love coming to this location this is not my first time going to cape coast i've been there and i would say this is my third or fourth time yeah but naturally making video on the road this is my first time just to educate and also give you information how the place actually looks like yeah so we just left uh, infante pingels we i think we've also left the next town which is called abaje or oh, how did they use it called Abanji or something like that? I think we passed that place too. <laughs> so enjoy your drive, enjoy your road. You understand? Uh, I'm here for you. You are here for me. Thank you for always watching. So which town are we in now? Let us see whether we can see the town itself. Yeah, because this is a very good, nice town. So there are a couple of um, places we got going to be seeing and one major or play, bigger town we shall be reaching very soon is a town called anomabo so we are yet to get there uh, i'm sure we are yet to get there but for now you can take a look at the following places uh -huh. and you also study and see how beautiful this place looks like wow what do we have here so that is a church actually that's assemblies of god church understand uh -huh. so the churches they are very proactive they acquire big portions of land 
at very good locations you understand they are quite earlier so they get it cheaper and they also get to protect it and undertake future investments so they are very you know uh, smart people who are running those churches you understand uh -huh. so you know it's something that as an individual if you inculcate that in your life by acquiring properties at very far locations you calculate and know that on the next 20 years 30 years 40 years development will get to this place so you will now go there and go and buy such properties and protect them and if there's any renewal of you know they will lease them you do it when the time is up you just make sure you have such a property at that location so that is what the church has been doing and a, a lot of companies are also doing that so if an individual looking forward to going into real estate business that is how you can acquire properties for long-term use so over there i couldn't capture it very well as you were seeing that is a c that is a c that is the c you were seeing uh-huh so here too from so that means that if you are located at these places like this you can easily visit the sea without any hassle you understand uh, so it's beautiful journey and as an individual it's something you need to actually consider when you are in this world <laughs> Yeah, so we are still at Abanje, and as you can see, uh, the journey looks promising, and you can also see how the cars are coming littered. Mm -hmm. So, because the entire place is becoming cloudy and also dark, so if you are driving through, you might have to consider on your lights. So, we are in the township, and you can see there are mosques around. And the community is also at this side as well. Mm -hmm. You can see the signpost they've written Abanje or Abazi, something like that. Yeah. As you've heard, the conductor he was calling people that they are actually going to Peru Junction, Mankasim. So I'm pretty sure after Peru Junction, you are almost on your way going to. Uh, you know Cape Coast uh -huh. so uh, that is how the journey is from here so you can see the road is very wet and this is a police car right yeah police car yes, yes, yes. yeah ensuring our safety you understand so sometimes some of these police they have um, their units in the middle of the road it's probably they keep changing sometimes locations you don't expect them to be there they will go and then just you know locate themselves there and station there yeah i've traveled to different locations and you can have police units or police stations in locations you never expect them to be and that is to me is you know commendable mm -hmm. see how greenish the environment is because i'm recording using the you know glass or the windscreen the place look darker than it is act uh, actually uh -huh. so it's really amazing to be at this location as well mm -hmm. see the cars yeah so you can see how the road is laid out it's like we are coming from the hill and we are now descending into the township and it's very refreshing yeah you can see some house on top of the hill and you can see how the road is so the road is so smooth and it's so beautiful to be on yeah so that is how your journey is right from Accra going to where you are going so this is gaso filling station yeah that's quite beautiful location as well mm -hmm. so for me I really enjoy this trip see a beautiful house on your right how I wish I could capture it. You understand? But I'm pretty sure one day when I get my own means of transport or my own car and I'm traveling on these stretches, I might have to alight to make some, you know, videos and continue my journey. 
you understand so this is the township so which township is this which township is this let's get closer that we'll get to know the town yeah so looking at how the township is look at how the road is still the road is still smooth at this side mm -hmm. so this is a heavy town you can see the cars that are here yeah so you can see wow so this is actually called the Anumabu 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 Township uh -huh. see how busy the place is I'm pretty sure today is your market day or something like that but that place looks so busy and look at their market uh -huh. see how the place is so it's Anumabu Township that we are currently and from there we'll be passing through a few townships before we actually get to um Cape Coast, yeah. So you see that is an marble. You can see on the tight signboard the written an marble on it. Uh-huh. An marble township. So that is it. We've just left there right now and we are on a busy trip right now. We are actually going to a location that is called Moray. Moray. Uh -huh. They have another location that is called Moray. It's the next township after Anomabo. They're about, you can see the hills at the other side. You can see the houses right there. So beautiful. Uh -huh. So it's promising. The journey is so beautiful as well. And uh, you get to also enjoy the peace, uh, the peaceful nature of Ghana when they're using this road. Mm -hmm. See how the, you know, the trees are, the coconut trees. Mm -hmm. see how the township is well aligned yeah and see some houses on top of the hill you just think about yourself hey if i'm located at this area what do i enjoy or how am i going to enjoy nature and uh, so for those of you who are thinking of off-grid type of settlement these are things you need to be looking out for yeah see the road is right the road is nice right from accra the road is nice so Whenever you ever want to go to the city, it's quite, it's not difficult, you know, because you have a very good road to use and you don't actually have any problems, you understand? Uh -huh. See, see this big house over there? I don't know what it is, a house or is something. <laughs> you understand? So that is how the road is. It's very nice. Yeah, it's cool as well. Yeah. Have these taxis in front of us. So when you are when you are under uh, doing overtaking, you don't overtake at a cafe. You actually use the straight road to overtake. And you see the time our driver is overtaking that taxi car. Uh, so he could have overtook the car at the branch or at the junction, but he didn't do that. He waited for to have a straight road to straight road before you can do overtaking. So for those of you who are new to driving, you have to learn this some of us we are also new do but we are learning from the experienced ones so that is it you can see the journey now climbing the hill you understand so i told you what we left anumabo township the next township we are going is another location called mori or mori so that is where we are actually getting to right now and the journey has been very peaceful you just have to know what you want see the houses some of the houses are nice some of the buildings they are nice as well you understand mm -hmm. so that is it right there you can see how the journey is wow this is a very big big man's car <laughs> you understand uh -huh. so you have to always watch out and see how the place is like the way the, the road is well like how the road the road is laid out and the house are also laid out at the sides of the road uh -huh. so Charlie you have to just keep watching when you are driving uh -huh. and 
get to enjoy this beautiful view while using the road you understand uh -huh. so basically these videos that i do i do them to help you make your journey to wherever you are going to in a very peaceful way i think right here there is a school this is a technical institute so there are some school that is a certain school i saw it's a technical institute you can see that and these are their students so so from here we'll be going to another school we see the houses yeah can see you can see the hill in front of us and see how they win the sun yeah there's that they, they fetch the sun and these big big cars see them in front of me they are those fetching the sands uh so that's the types i didn't see this car please uh -huh. so we just passed the technical institute right in front of uh, behind us and we are now we'll be meeting three school i think we've already passed the infantry pain school in fact, the pink girls we've passed there. We are left to meet the Agri Memorial School and also Adisadel. Uh -huh. So those are high schools that are in front of us that we are yet to pass by. You understand? Adisadel and Agri Memorial School, they are very, you know, big schools. They are schools that have uh, big names, you understand? Uh -huh. So, you know, we are yet to get to them as well. But for now, you just have to stay tuned and enjoy your journey yeah you can see how the road is oh big land not explored yet that is how ghanaian lands are ghana is so big you understand even if it's not so big it has big portion of lands that are not yet explored and everyone is struggling to just stay in the city everyone wants to be in the city but we have big lands that are not yet touched they are unexplored yet how do we intend to explore them if we are all moving to the city you understand so off grid is the way forward now and a lot of people are looking forward to that yeah look at how beautiful the road is laid out look at how the trees are on the road look at how the hills and the mountains are behind look at how the road is kept look at how the weather is beautiful look at how the cars are moving on the road look at how smooth the road is look at how peaceful the journey is Look at how the amazing in front of us is. Umpa we are up a day. Understand? See how that guy has zoomed it. You understand? Uh huh. Really nice. Really beautiful to be around this location. Yeah. So, Jack, a lot is there for us to learn, and a lot is there for us to actually improve upon as a nation. But agriculture is one of the ways we can actually improve. As a nation. As we get closer, you can see how the township unfolds. Mm -hmm. So basically, you get to actually see how busy the place is. So this is now support eco resident area, and getting closer to this place. You get to also see what is in front of us. Yeah. So the roads remain similar and the roads remain kind of um, like previous parts we've already passed because it's the same region. So the weather also gets to be the same. So you can see how busy the place is and how the road is being used. But in the nutshell, you can see the the uh, the environment. See, it's very greenish part of Ghana, and you can see this part as well, where they sell the hawkers sell items on the road. That is food stuff, kinky, gari, um, a lot of other food stuff, African foods that are very cool. You can see they've written their names in front of their shops. You can see. Uh -huh. so these are oil some also sell red oil and stuff palm nuts please this is part of the yamoransa the district yeah you can see their houses their houses are very indigenous 
very old houses so this is a very busy community i'm pretty sure that from here we'll be heading to you know um so we parked here so but if you are going you can use straight and go so we actually parked here to pick up a few uh to 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 let some customers alight so you could have used the straight road if you were going directly yeah you needn't have to pass here now nah. you understand so when you are going so we are now leaving the place as well after you know someone alighting at the place we are now leaving the place to continue our journey so you see just a straight route mm -hmm. so this is your station where you can pick car to various locations uh -huh. so it's such a pretty cool journey that you know you you can enjoy we are back again you can see the road as well this is his car when i saw the car standing i thought it, it was adisadel car so we are now venturing into cape coast you can see the houses on top of the hill that's very beautiful for those people who are those at those locations enjoy themselves mm -hmm. right from yamuransa we are now entering into cape coast and you can see forward there yeah And see over there as well houses on top of the hills so beautiful you get to enjoy the view of the road they enjoy the view of the township at any given time day and night and it's beautiful yeah so you can see mm -hmm. so we are almost entering into cape coast within the next three four minutes we'll be in cape coast so just stay tuned you can see cars that are parked there i'm pretty sure this is a fitting shop a mechanic shop area mm -hmm. so you can see all that look at a very big house on top of the hill over there and then you can as well see these places so guys we are almost entering cape coast like that yeah so this is another township the road aguase aguase that's another township right here they've written aguase so that means you are now in aguase so after we left yamoransa we came to aguase is it aguase or aguaso one of it yeah Oh, this is big, big car. <laughs> Imagine sharing this big, this small road with these big cars. One has to be very careful when driving. Yeah. So we keep the video alive. Kind of a small story building right there. See that <laughs> in the city of Agrada looks like a security room. Then I'm pretty sure that is the same thing right here. I think this car, this township has a lot of cars. Kind of look like mechanic. Have they have a they have a lot of mechanic shops here. Mm -hmm. So you can see, this is Moray. We are going to Moray like that. That's Moray Junction. You can see they are selling food items. That's red oil right there, red oil from palm nuts. Red oil from palm nuts. You have Gary at the other side. And you have other food items as well. You have Fanti Kinky. Mm -hmm. So we are still at Murray. From Murray, I'm going to pass this. This looks like a two boots. But they are actually not taking money. Because the tow boot system of, you know, money collection has been, you know, cancelled in Ghana currently. So I don't know about future. Mm -hmm. So it's interesting though. These are nice houses at the edges right there. They are nice houses. 
So we've passed Aguase or Aguaso. We've gotten to Moray. From Moray, we are heading forward. So from Moray, we are going to the Agri Memorial School area. Aha. Uh -huh. We are going to the Agri Memorial School area. So you can see right on top there, that is the school. That is the Agri Memorial School right there. You can see it on top of the hill. That's a part of it. So we'll actually be passing around the entrance there above. So you get to see how the school the school entrance is. You see all that. So we are just in Cape Coast like that. Immediately you see Agri Memorial, we are in Cape Coast like that. This is where the school entrance is on your right. Very close to the overpass. You see that's the school entrance. Agri Memorial is a senior high school in Ghana. It's a, a, a very old school that's kept long ago. And it's, they are also doing well. So right now guys, we are actually in Cape Coast like that. This is Cape Coast, Ghana. And finally, we have actually gotten to our destination. So we are now moving to the junction. Or oh, where our last stop is when we are parking the car. And this it's such a beautiful journey. And I'm very happy having you on. And you know, being attentive. Immediately you see that Green Memorial School. You are actually over there like that. Mm -hmm. So you can see how the weather is. So when we were going, when I got that, I didn't know we had just entered Cape Coast like that. But we are in Cape Coast. All this part is part of Cape Coast. All these parts. They are all part of Cape Coast. Yeah. So you can see how the road remains virgin. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure we are almost at the station. And such a fast journey from Agri Memorial School is going to take you about two, three, four minutes to actually reach the last stop where we are actually going to be. Mm -hmm. So you can see that. I see how the road is. Yeah, so we are almost at the last stop right now. And then the rain started falling again. So you can count the number of rainfalls we had right from Accra. You can <laughs> tell yourself that this is such a high rainfall zone. Understand? Yeah. So you can see the rain has bled the entire thing. You can't even see in front, but it's still cool as far as we can see our road. It's a very big building in front of us. I actually don't know what it is, whether it is a factory or what. I actually don't know what it is. See the building. See the building. It's a very big building. And just anyone who knows what it is should just check, just tag this minute and then write what it is. And I'm ready to learn and appreciate what you teach me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So right now we are. Almost in the township now. Within one minute, we'll reach our last stop. Then we're going to stop there. Yeah. So this is another school called Adisadel. So Adisadel is also a senior high school. Very famous school as well. I have some of my brothers, some of my brothers who attended it. Yeah, so it's just a very beautiful school as well. I think it's only a boys' school, yeah? Mm -hmm. 
so you can see that if you are located at this area or this location your kids could have good education or good high school to actually be attending so you can see the houses we are just entering into the Coast township like that see the houses uh -huh. so right now we are in the Cape Coast township you can see we are entering the station like that so you might think this is the Cape Coast township but no if you are going to the Cape Coast township you have to go straight a little bit and make a u-turn at the traffic lights make a u-turn at the traffic light then you go to the Cape Coast township so we are just yeah this traffic light that you see not the one we passed that's where you make a u-turn so this one we are going to just park in the car station uh, but the main station and the main markets are where i told you understand mm -hmm. so right now we are at the station in cape coast and you can see this is where you are going to make your u-turn to the township so guys this is the end of the video if this has been helpful kindly subscribe to the channel share this video if you want to buy a land in ghana house in ghana just contact me in the description below my name is my Imo name Risa is Imo Risa 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 subscribe subscribe thank you thank you